In this video, we'll use the Evo 8 and Loopback to record ASIO DAW audio into OBS or similar screen capture software. You would do this if you wanted to make a plugin review video or even live stream your DAW, among other things. First, make sure the Evo is the playback engine for your DAW. The Evo can be the playback engine for Windows as well, but it doesn't have to be. Head to the tray and right click the Evo icon. Set the loopback source to PC12. Now we'll set up OBS. First, we need to add a display capture to record the screen. Click the plus icon and add a display capture. Change the name if you want and click OK. If you have multiple displays, you can select the one you want here. Now we need to add our loopback audio and there's a couple ways to do this. You could go to settings, audio, and set any of these inputs to loopback 1-2 Audient Evo 8. But that's not how I like to do it. Instead, let's add an audio input capture and name it DAW Audio. Set the device to loopback 1-2 Audient Evo 8. Play back your DAW and see if you have input. If you don't, the reason is probably a sample rate mismatch. In OBS, click Settings. Audio. We are set to 48K, but whatever your settings, we need to match the loopback sample rate with the OBS sample rate. Right click the speaker icon and open sound settings. Click sound control panel. Under the recording tab, find Audient Evo 8 Loopback 1 2. Click Properties, Advanced, and change the sample rate to match your screen capture software. While we're here, we'll go ahead and change the sample rate for input 2, since we're going to use it later for a mic input. Optionally, feel free to change all of the Evo 8 entries if you wish. That way you're ready for any input you want to use in OBS. You can do the same in the playback tab. Playback some audio in your DAW and you'll see the input in OBS. This will capture everything going on in your DAW, including any changes you make to plugins. You'll probably want to capture your voice as well, so let's set up a mic. You could route the mic through the DAW, but in this case we want a separate voice track we can edit later. Again, you could come to Settings, Audio, and select the proper input for any of these options, but I like to do it manually. Add an audio input capture. Name it Microphone and select the proper input. Since we're plugged into input two of the Evo, that's what we'll choose. And we're getting input. Remember, if you're not getting input, the first thing to check is the sample rate. Now, a couple of things you need to realize about OBS or any screen capture software. For OBS, we can record each audio source to a separate track for later editing. But if you're streaming, you want to make sure all audio is going out of one stereo output. Click a gear icon and choose Advanced Audio Properties. And here you can decide where each source is routed for output. If you're streaming, you can leave it like this, since track one is the only track that will be output to the stream or uncheck everything except track one for each source. However, if you are recording and you want separate tracks to edit later, 
be sure to set a different track for each source. Then come to Settings, Output, Advanced Mode, Recording Tab. Recording formats I like are MP4 or MOV. And make sure you enable all the audio tracks you want to record. Here's the settings I use for recording videos to edit later. You can adjust for your purposes. Click Video. And here you can set the frames per second. 30 or 60 are normally used for YouTube videos. Come back to Output, Streaming. And here you can see that only one audio track can be streamed. So again, make sure you have your audio set properly for what you want to do. There's a lot more to learn about OBS, but that will get you up and running. You may want to check out Streamlabs as well. Many streamers prefer it over OBS, but since it's based on OBS, you'll already know how to use it. If you need to balance the audio levels between your mic and DAW audio, open the Evo mixer and adjust. Changing these levels won't affect the levels being recorded in OBS. This is just your personal monitor. So if you are streaming, make sure the audio levels are correct in the DAW or OBS. We can use the other inputs of the Evo in our DAW as well while using loopback. If you want to record or live stream a guitar performance, for example, no problem. We'll plug our guitar into input one. Set the track input. Add your favorite guitar amp plugin and just play or record. You'll want to make sure the monitor level is turned down in the mixer. Otherwise, you'll hear the dry guitar along with the dirty. One thing to note, if you have the Evo as the playback engine for Windows, all of your desktop audio will be routed to the DAW audio track and desktop audio track. So, depending on what you're doing, you may want to change the playback engine for Windows or mute or disable the output for that track in OBS. If you want to record a webcam at the same time, you can do that too. Just create a video capture device and select your webcam. When you're ready to start recording or streaming, just minimize OBS or move it to another monitor. There are many more ways to use loopback with the Evo 8, so be sure to experiment with other settings. But this method will allow you to make YouTube videos or live stream with your DAW ASIO audio by using loopback with the Evo 8.